why isn't Dreams out yet? Is there an easy explanation? Um, well, so we've been working on it what might seem like a long time, but if you consider how much is actually in there, then I think it's fair to say we've done a pretty oh, fast yeah. job, actually. I think so. Like I, When I look back at like the vision that was sort of set out right at the beginning, which was to try and make something that brought together all aspects of making games. Yeah, all the, t- all the, all the, tools. All the tools you'd expect to use in an, any audio-visual thing. Yeah, if you look at where we are now. I went back to an old presentation that you made way back in those early days i think the really awesome thing about even though it's taken the time the vision has never changed it's kind of always stayed the same it's just a big vision we've made a music package an animation Mm -hmm. package you know logic logic sculpting all of that stuff which are normally separate packages in themselves which would probably take longer than what we've spent yeah we've got all of those in one place it's fair to say the vision hasn't changed but what did change was that we realized what that vision actually meant mm-hmm. and actually it's like oh if we're going to do this properly we have to do, this have to do all this other stuff and that's huge yeah but, but we al- started so we'll finish yeah. <laughs> but also like the team was tiny for years because oh yeah because we had tearaway also going this full team has been back on it together since sort of december 2015 so i think it's quite extraordinary how much we've actually got done in that time and games take time but um i feel really really proud of like how much effort everybody's gone to really hit that vision and sort of bring bring all those tools together under one yeah, thing and also then like make there. a game it's you know there. just like make a game with it um, <laughs> that's what it does best right i mean i think it, i think it's fair to say there's nobody wants to get it out there more than we do you yeah. know so we're not holding it back for the sake of it or anything yeah. it's just We've got to make sure that it's acceptable quality before yeah. we re- release it. And you know, like that's where it's been amazing to have the, the support of like Shu, Shuhei Yoshida, and Michael Denny, yeah. and all of like Worldwide Studios. Like, yeah, we're very lucky. We're very, I, very lucky. It's I, being part of the Worldwide Studios from, Sony team is amazing. Yeah, from my experience, we would not have had that same privilege with other publishers, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're, they're so, wonderful. so, in general, Dreams' is development. How has it gone for you guys so far? How has it been? What has defined this game's development for you guys? <laughs> God. When you've got an ambition that that's, that's that high, it's really, there's, there's just it's, all that, you know, it's tough. tough. It's hard, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, I can't remember how many times I've threatened to quit. It's got to be quite a few. <laughs> like, what are but, those breaking um, points? Is it just like, there's too much to do, oh, it's too get, finicky? Yeah, there's been a few times when I've just got really annoyed and gone home for a day and sort of stewed in my own juices and then come back and realised I was an idiot. But for me at least, one of the big differences between making this and making A Little Big Planet is on Little Big Planet, I felt like the design was a little bit more concentrated on fewer people. Mm. There was like myself and Dave and everyone was throwing in ideas, but it was really me and Dave that were the main designers on that, mm-hmm. I would say. Whereas with Dreams, it's just too big. Mm even if we wanted to do that, you know, so the design is a lot more yeah. sort of spread out, really. It's one of the things that I love the most about the project. I really feel like when we go out into the studio floor or we have meetings, like the team is so invested in what we're making. You know, the team is bigger, the game is bigger, we're all older. Culture doesn't stay static. Like culture is one of those things that, you know, everybody wants to progress. And so we have people who've been here for, you know, a decade and they want to see their careers progress too. And so it's about all of us sort of all working on this thing together. So it's like the ultimate jam, which is kind of, you know, which is what we want dreams yeah, it has to be, like, but it kind of has been, the development has also been like the ultimate jam. And like, like with anything. It's been like a big mega jam, actually. It's been like way, a mega jam, yeah. With all the <laughs> laughs and tears that come along with those kind of things. I know, so it's, um, you know. It's gonna be, like everybody has input on this game. It's not like if you're making an Uncharted, only so many people can say, hey, I have a correction about this archeological fact, whereas this game, is basically making a biographical game about everybody's lives because they all know game development. So the audio team will have input of like, here's what oh you need God. in this. The lighting people will be like, you need this there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody Seriously, has input nonstop, right? Oh my God, if you oh. saw some of our email threads, they'd make your eyes water. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you know, that's why, you know, to make a tool for, for us to make a professional game with, exactly. you need it to have the depth that professionals want. Exactly. But you yeah. then want it to have the opposite, which is like an entry point and a pathway for new people. That's been a challenge. Yeah, that, that's the key balance, I guess, is like Siobhan says, just getting that balance between satisfying the pros who are very needy sometimes and you know remembering that this is a console experience and a, a child should be able to pick this up and have fun and make something. So. Part of the reason why it's taken a long time, I think, is because we've actually said, okay, well, we're going to do it. We're actually going to try and satisfy both needs. You yeah. know? And it's, it's, it's hard, but I think we've 
got a good balance now, mm -hmm. personally. So, yeah. I think the team that needs a huge shout out actually is the QA team. Oh, oh yeah, like, I would not want to be QA. They are honestly. like they have. <laughs> no way. They really, you know, QA. We love you. Like they are just have done such an amazing job because this is and 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 also production really of like this is a very very different thing to ship and the granularity of it is like insane in some areas and I think QA like in particular I just they don't always get enough love in our industry and I feel like we need a whole reward just like a whole reward just for them you know <laughs> in the games industry because they're absolute legends I feel like this is a high concept but it's interesting thinking about you're building the game within the game itself at this point and the game is taking a while to ship yeah. So if games within Dreams are easy to make, why isn't Dreams itself easy to make? So, I mean, it's very common, well, it's, it's completely normal in, in game development that there will be a bunch of tools, bespoke tools made for the particular game. Obviously, you use off-the-shelf tools like modelling packages and things, but often the way the scenes are put together or something and the way the logic is made by designers is some bespoke tool, but they tend to be really horrible, full of bugs and little nuances that you have to learn about and it doesn't really matter because it's not public facing, but because mm. we're doing that and making those tools public facing, mm. it's just inevitable. We'll start making the game and realize that something we're doing is such a pain. This is a ridiculous way to do it. Let's change the tool. So then you change the tool, but then you have to go back and redo a whole bunch of stuff that you did mm. in the content, you see. So you're, the, the content has probably been remade about 10 times. The story is loosely stayed the same since mm -hmm. the start mm -hmm. but it's evolved and things um but we've remade levels so many times yeah the tools which is kind of normal in development to remake things but there's been that added not moment. this many times <laughs> there's been that added, <laughs> it's been that like yeah added moment i think also like there's things like you know like you're saying with like internal tools you don't need to worry about writing like tool tips for everything so because this is a public facing thing there's a whole set of things which are about making the experience really pleasurable for people and for people to have the information i feel like this is the type of game where the the beta and the feedback to the beta could really upend things could really change things for you are you guys prepared to be flexible if the feedback is we are shocking ready. <laughs> we are ready we left. we're, re we're we ready we're like you know you have to be yeah but we're ready like we're excited i've never got emotional over like a set of tools where I feel like just diving in yesterday is like oh my god and oh, cool. personally I feel like this could either revolutionize game creation and creation in general or just create like a red hot pocket of a fan base yeah how do you guys feel about it which camp are you leaning in for likely scenario you can't know like every game when you're at this point you, you really just don't know what's going to happen it's like it's the exciting point and you can't I don't know I, I try not to think about that more than like I, I really I hope that people really love it. We've put so much effort into it. I mean, obviously, we obviously want it to be more successful and not just too niche, but um, yeah. I sort of feel even if it did go, if it's not a massive success and it's a niche, a sort of hardcore fan thing, one of those fans will make something awesome that eclipses the success of Dreams maybe, mm. you know? So that, we should try and get a cut of that or something. <laughs> 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 but, Even um, if it's twenty years down the road, yeah, I mean, I mean, like, it could inspire somebody. Because I mean, the point is, it's it's a game development tool, and you can make yeah. awesome games with it. So if the tools don't massively succeed, we'll just make some games with it that do succeed. Hopefully, you know, <laughs> that's the fallback plan. Yeah.